get to fiddle, when we get to groups, we'll understand why this argument came. Because some people might be asking, why are we even discussing this? I thought every Muslim believes this. And that should, that's, people have the good fitrah, that's what we will ask. But what we have to understand is that Islam reached such a level of, in, of, of, Islam spread so much that it spread to people who were very intellectual. And people who read philosophy. And people who read into the books of Plato, Aristotle, Socrates, Greek philosophers. And when that happened, their aqidah started to change. Okay? Their aqidah, their creed started to change because they were reading from a wide variety of sources. This does not mean that Islam tells you don't read from, other, from a wide variety of sources or do not study other things. It means that do not read from those things which are going to cause you to, to die and... Uh, and, and make you have shak on your religion, which is why, يعني, uh, I said to you before, what Imam, is it, I think Imam al Haramain said, يعني, he said, um, عقال, that the end of putting your aql before what the Quran and Sunnah says is you being in a state of being like in an being iqal, like you being chained, basically. And the majority of where mankind is going is misguidance. He just said some other stuff. And then he speaks about his own, his own experience from this. He said, وَلَمْ نَسْتَفِدْ مِنْ بَحْثِنَا طُولَ عُمْرِنَا سِوَىٰ أَنْ جَمَعْنَا فِيهِ قِيلَ وَقَالُوا He said, all this philosophy that we studied, all, and this is the Shaykh of Al-Ghazali, he said, all of the philosophy that we studied, all of these philosophical arguments that we studied, he said, وَلَمْ نَسْتَفِدْ مِنْ, مِنْ بَحْثِنَا طُولَ عُمْرِنَا We never ever, all this research that we did done, it never benefited us in anything. سِوَىٰ أَنْ جَمَعْنَا فِيهِ قِيلَ وَقَالُوا Except that we just increased in saying he said, she said. And then his student Al-Ghazali died with Sahil Bukhari or Sahih Muslim on his chest, making tawbah for what he did, for reading so much stuff. And one of his students, he, um, what's his name? Ibn Al-Arabi from Spain, who was a Spanish professor, who has his tafsir of the Quran, they believe it's to be lost, that he wrote 80, th he wrote his tafsir of the Quran which was lost. Some of his students said that they saw it in Maghrib, but it was, it was written in Spain. And it is, um, he's got two tafsir, the one that we have now, but there was another one that was lost. And this tafsir of the Quran, he said he wrote it on, he wrote eight, either 800 volumes written, or 80 volumes written with 80,000 80, pages, he said. He said, and, it, and it's, his writing is still preserved. He said that this tafsir that I've written is 80,000 pages. This is يعني, before printing. So this Imam Ibn Arabi, he spoke about Al-Ghazali, one of his teachers, when he went and studied with him. And he said that, Al-Ghazali ibtala al-falasifa. Ghazali, he swallowed the philosophers, i.e. he swallowed their arguments. فَحَاوَلَ أَنْ يَتَقَيَّأْ فَلَمْ يَسْتَطِعْ And he tried to vomit them out, and he wasn't able to. Once they came inside his heart, they, made, they took grounds in his heart. He read all the statements, all these arguments, philosophical arguments. He swallowed them. And when he tried to release it from himself, he wasn't able to. Which is why Ibn Qayyim says, أَتَانِي هَوَاهُ قَبْلَ أَنْ أَعْرِفَ الْهَوَىٰ فَصَادِفَ قَلْبًا خَالِيًا فَتَمَكَّنَا Desires reached me before I knew what the desires were. I had a clear heart. I didn't know any of these doubts in the religion. فَصَادِفَ قَلْبًا خَالِيًا فَتَمَكَّنَا They emptied onto, they emptied, these doubts and these issues emptied into an empty heart and made grounds because I had no knowledge.